I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. And today I want to show you how to make a kitchen craft angel. Now, the easiest way for me to make one is to use a styrofoam ball and a regular little drinking cup. You're going to take the drinking cup first and just using marker you're going to make a design. I try to go for a gingham look because it is the kitchen. So you're going to go ahead and make your design. Then in order to make the head stay on top securely I'm going to use a little bit of garland. So you cut a little piece of garland and it's almost like making a layer cake. You glue the uh, garland onto the cup and now you're ready for your head. I take my marker, permanent markers, and I do three dots. Two blacks, one red. Not real high tech. Now, some people use glue guns. And yes, it makes it easier, but it's more dangerous if you have small children around. So I think your best bet is to use white glue if you're doing this with young kids and a glue gun's okay if you're by yourself. So you're going to, let's say it is glue gun, put glue gun here, glue gun there, attach your head, and now you're ready for the rest. So I'm going to take it apart and show you the next parts. In order to make her halo, I've got a piece of gold wire that I just bend and make a little halo that I'm going to put inside in just a minute. I get a scrap of red ribbon that I'm going to wrap around her hair for her head. And the most important thing is using floral ribbon for her wings. Floral ribbon is great because there's wire right on the edges so it holds its shape. So you just go back and forth like you would an accordion and you can get your wing shape. Once you have two, again this is your choice, you can glue gun it onto your cup. Glue gun the other side so you have a pair of wings and then you're ready to do the rest. She's really cute. I went and got some old birthday cake decorations that I had lying around in the kitchen. I also got this rubber chicken that I don't know who gave me, but I attached that too. So, my name is Patty Fernandez. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com and I'll see you later.